Clear rifts over the debt ceiling remain following President Biden's Gang of Four meeting with the top leaders in the House and Senate. Today, Biden traveled to a Republican congressional district in New York to blame MAGA Republicans for the inability to reach a deal on raising the debt limit and how it would impact Americans. They're literally, not figuratively, holding the economy hostage. During Tuesday's Oval Office meeting, the president and Senate leader Chuck Schumer accused House Speaker Kevin McCarthy of being the lone holder out, refusing to commit to raising the debt limit. Speaker McCarthy must commit to taking default off the table. The Treasury Secretary and other financial leaders urgently warning that time is running out. I was very clear with the president. We have now just two weeks to go. While Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell publicly said the U.S. will not default, he also told Biden to not attempt to go around Congress and use the 14th Amendment to raise the debt ceiling. Just one way to prevent a pointless avoidable crisis. The bipartisan negotiation that Speaker McCarthy has been calling for. McCarthy and congressional Republicans want spending cuts before approving a debt limit hike. The White House wants no preconditions. A debt ceiling increase would allow the U.S. government to pay for expenses it already owes. The nation could hit default as early as June 1st, which experts say could result in a global economic catastrophe. The gross national product might contract over the following 12 months as much as 6 or 7 percent, that millions of jobs would be lost. And there was some good economic news as a new report found U.S. inflation was less than expected. But economists caution a debt limit default would ruin the nation's efforts to stem inflation. And the president plans to meet with those same congressional leaders on Friday. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.